Welcome to Chet TV News. Here are your headlines. A man is in custody after a suspicious fire in a wrecking yard north of Chetwind. Has a fair deal been reached between the teachers and the province? And a generous donor went above and beyond for a local organization. Welcome to Chet TV News. I'm Callie Warren. A suspicious fire north of Chetwind has led to the RCMP taking a man into custody. At approximately 11 a.m. Tuesday, the Chetwind Fire Department responded to a vehicle fire five kilometers north of Chetwind on Moberly Hill. When they arrived on scene, they found about seven cars engulfed by flames in the private wrecking yard. Witnesses said they saw a man light the cars on fire and flee the scene. RCMP officers soon found a man matching the description and he is now in custody. A tentative agreement has been reached between the province and the British Columbia Teachers Federation. BC Premier Christy Clark says the agreement is the first of its kind in BC's history. Members already have a copy of the deal and will get to vote on whether to accept it or not on Thursday. If agreed upon, teachers could be back in their classrooms before the weekend and children could be in school by next week. We'd really like to thank all of the public who've, who've been so supportive through all of the job action. In particular, all the, the uh, people who've taken the time to contact MLA school districts, um, Christy Clark and, and Minister Fassbender. We really believe that it's through the public support that we've managed to get the deal that we've been offered. On our way home, Animal Rescue has done a lot for animals around and in the community. And on Tuesday, Serene Campin gave back to the organization. I'm so glad to give this to you. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. <laughs> I appreciate it. Well, I, I hope it. I know it'll go to a good cause and it'll help a lot of animals. Well, it certainly will. Campin donated a total of $1,250 to On Our Way Home, covering all of Kirby the Dog's vet bills. And when I heard about On Our Way Home, I checked it out, and I thought, oh my goodness, we have this organization right in our town doing all these wonderful things. So I phoned Alyssa, talked to her, and said I would like to donate some money. And it's local. Mm -hmm. And Chetwin's my home. Mm -hmm. And it has been since 1976. And I love it. I want to support community and community organizations. On Our Way Home specifically has helped thousands of animals get better and find forever homes. Take Back the Night returns to Dawson Creek on September 24th. The walk began in the early 70s and has gathered attention around the world. It brings attention to violence against women and offers support to victims. This year's walk is set to start at the Seniors Hall at 6.30 p.m. with a gathering and celebration afterwards. Chetwin Forest Industries, a division of West Fraser Mills, has applied for a revitalization tax exemption. If accepted, the CFI will receive a tax exemption of 50% the first year, 25% the second, and 10% the third. The tax exemption program was created by Council to encourage new development in our community. Well, the next seven days look like mostly sun and clouds. We're going to stay warm for the weekend for the Ghost Mountain Grunt on Sunday, but Thursday will be a high of 21 with a low of 9. Friday and Saturday will drop down to 17, but still feel pretty warm with the sun. Sunday, it will heat back up again for the event sunny and 23 degrees, feeling more like 25. It'll stay like that for Monday, but we can expect the temperatures to start dropping and rain over Tuesday and Wednesday. Thank you for watching Chet TV News. You can always tweet me at Warren underscore Callie or email me at Callie at PeaceFM.ca. We leave you now with pictures of the bike jam that was held this past weekend. It was organized by the youth group Cyclone.